So incline bench press, that's what we're going to be teaching you today, how to perform the incline bench press. Step number one, how you perform the incline bench press, you make sure that the bench press is in an inclined position, right? And the ideal inclined position is for it to be within 30 and 45 degrees, right? Now here is the reason why. If for inclined bench press, we are targeting the clavicular part of the chest, which is what we call the upper chest, right? And if your bench press is not inclined enough within the range of 30 to 45 degrees, you are going to, to channel the pressure to a different part of your body, right? Now, if it is beyond 45 degrees, you are going to be targeting the front delt instead, instead of the um, clavicular head, the upper head of the chest, right? And if, if it is be below 30 degrees, then you are bringing down the pressure to your cervical head, your abdominal head, whatever the case may be. But the ideal angle to target the incline, the upper chest, now the clavicular head of the pectoral muscles, is this 30 to 45 degrees. So that is the first. You make sure that you have your bench in the right angle. Then you lie down. Mm -hmm. You lie down always now with your eye under the bar. Your eye, make sure it's under the bar. Move, push, push. Make sure your eye is under the bar. Good. Right. Then you lift. Now you make sure in inclined bench press, most importantly, you make sure you get your balance with your leg. You make sure you get your, you balance your leg on the ground strongly, right? Good. Then shoulder width, you hold your bar shoulder width. Not close, not too wide. Now shoulder width, right? Then you lift up. Now, here is the thing. Now, here is how incline now is different from flat and, and decline. In incline, you drop the bar at your upper chest, like the upper. In fact, what I do sometimes is I raise my head, right? I raise my head, I raise my head up like this, and I drop the bar as if I'm pressing my neck, right? So you raise it up and bring it to this level, this level. You want to target the uppermost part of the chest. Right? This level. Then you we want to pay more attention to your elbows as well. You make sure that your elbows are pointing diagonally, not straight now like this. Right? So now you lift, you lift, you see the elbow it's pointing diagonal, right? It's not pointing straight. Let's protect the shoulder now. Now up and down, you drop at your uppermost part of the chest, close to your neck. Yeah, up now. Right? So your head is up, you are dropping to the uppermost part of your chest. Your elbows are diagonally, diagonally faced, they are facing diagonal position, whatever, right? And your legs are steady, strong on the ground, steadily strong on the ground, right? Now that's the incline for you. The incline, like I said earlier, is used to build the upper part of the chest, the clavicular head, right? So step number one, don't forget, you make sure the bench is in appropriate position between 30 to 45 degrees. You make sure you lie down directly under the bar. You make sure you open your hand shoulder width level or a little bit beyond shoulder width level, right? Then you bring down to your chest, to your uppermost chest, right? So if you're not subscribed to this channel, you're going to do yourself a favor to click on the subscribe button and you're going to, you know, get tutorials like this every now and then. And if you, if you have any question surrounding fitness, bodybuilding, weight loss, whatever, we have a link in the, in the description box where you go, you click the link, ask your questions, and we're going to get back to you with a personalized answer. So, we'll see you.